Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing off the Gaussian Blur effect. So if you haven't already, go ahead and download it off the Oka software website. I already have, so it's already in my scene. So if you have it here, just drag and drop it into your project. And it should be ready to go after we make just a few little changes. So before you do anything, go into your universal data for your URP and add a blur render feature to it. So if it wasn't there, I'll just remove mine. We'd go look for it, blur render feature. You put it inside your inside and now it should work. We're just going to go to our global volume, add our Gaussian blur. There it is. And theoretically, it should work. Oh, I think I have the mask on. Just give me a sec. Oh, there you go. Uh, ba, ba, ba. So you can use your radius to buy to adjust how much blur you want. You can also use just texture. We think we have some already inside, so I'm just gonna add the radial. So you can see what I mean. So maybe you just want to blur a certain part of your scene. You would use something like a mask like this. We have different, different ones as well, you know. You want to get funky. Shape. Boom. And there you go. I'm going to turn this off for now. Um, and there you go. Maybe next, you don't want it just to be applied as a post-process in just in your scene, right? Because maybe you just want a certain object blurred or a certain panel plane blurred. And we can do that with the blur. So I'm going to turn it off here but turn on again my mask boom I'm also going to turn off my environment for now da -da -da. boom so you can see my mask better it's slightly bigger for us so we have a better view of what we have here all right so let's go to our mask and we're going to have a bit of parameters inside our material so over here we have our material, our blur masks, right? So if you want to see it, it's just over here. And you're going to notice the first thing you can notice. Well, first we have our tint. So say you want to change the color, you can. Or maybe you want to go like a funky blue or... When at the same time, you can also blur it. We're going to turn it off now because I just want to show the blur properly. But you see we have our little mask over here and we can... Turn it on. Oops, I went to a negative. I'm gonna throw it out. Turn it off. Or on. Oh, I went too far. 200 is too much as well. Or 50. See, we have a blur just for our objects. So, as you can see in my scene, I nothing else is blurred except for my material here, right? So maybe if you want to make I don't know, like frosted glass or something. Or maybe you just want to censor something, right? So maybe, I don't know, you know he's, he's saying a swear word there. You boop, blur it out there. There you go. No more. They don't, we've, re we've, uh, we've released them of existence. They don't exist. Okay, we'll go back to our game. We're going to turn this off them out to zero it out and we're gonna turn this off boom turn back our environment boom and go back to our global volume and yeah all right so you may have noticed when i was blurring my stuff 
let's say I'll blur it again, just to show you what I mean, that my, my, my text is not being blurred. And you'll be like, oh, why isn't it got, not getting blurred? And that's very simple, you see. Because if you go, if I go into my text right over here, oh, let me just find it. Uh, UI text. You might see it's under screen space. Is it this one? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna double check it's this one. No, it's not this one, it's in here. All right, we're just gonna go into the text. No. As so, as you can see, I'm I'm under screen space overlay. So if your text, as long as you put your your text under screen space overlay, it won't get blurred. So make sure you do that if you want to. So that's just something for UI, I guess. If you want to just blur some stuff, have some like masks blurred in the background, but keep your text nice so it's more readable. I would keep that right. So there you go. And with that, I guess I'll show you the other demo as well. The 2D one. Am I going to save? Oh, I'm not going to save that. So this is all 2D. And like I said, it does the same thing as I showed earlier. It just blurs it and unblurs it. Mess with the radius. Whoop. There you go. Now you can just blur one object. There you go. And that should be it, honestly. It's pretty straightforward. So if you want to start blurring your stuff, go ahead and download it. And if you have any more questions, just... Uh, don't forget to comment. You can comment down below or ask in the Discord. They'd be more than happy to help you. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.